Pika Labs just got a huge new update that lets you generate videos with text in them and embed logos and designs into videos. I'll show you how to use the new features and cover the best practices. The new encrypt text command allows you to enter a text message, prompt for a video theme, and generate a video of the text message with customized font and text size. Let's head over to our Discord chat with the Pika bot. Type slash encrypt underscore text into the message to bring up the text prompting interface. Inside the box that says message, we'll enter the text that we want generated. Let's try to make a refreshing video of the word fruit like you might see in a food commercial. I'll type fruit as a message. Then in the box it says prompt, enter the video theme. I'll go with fruit with water splashing as a general video idea. Press enter to generate a video. Okay, so that's not exactly what we'd expect. There's plenty of fruit and plenty of water, but the word is not clear. There's a new weight parameter we need to talk about. The parameter dash W controls how much the video generator follows the text message that we want to be generated. It's a value between 0 to 2, with 0 being the lowest and 2 being the highest weight. The default is 1, which I found doesn't really work that well. In my experiments, we actually need to set dash W to 2 to get consistent text generations. Let's try this again. Type slash encrypt underscore text into the chat. Enter fruit into the message and fruit with water splashing into the prompt. At the end, type dash W2 to weigh our text message more heavily. Generate the video and there we go. We got a video with the word fruit with water splashing all around it. To get more dynamic results, we can introduce camera motions. With our fruit theme prompt, add dash camera rotate ACW at the end of the prompt. This will generate a video with a camera rotating anti-clockwise. Using rotations on words can distort them sometimes. To increase the amount of motion, add the dash motion parameter at the end of the prompt. It's a value between 0 to 4. And here I'm using the prompt of fruit with water splashing dash w2 dash camera cw dash motion 4. For clockwise camera rotation and a large amount of motion, we can also try zooming in or zooming out. You can change the size of the text with the dash size parameter. This is a value between 0 and 100, with the default being 100. Using the same prompt as before, let's add dash size 60 to the end of the prompt. Pika still generates a video with the word fruit, but the text size is much smaller compared to the previous video, which had the size parameter set to a default of 100. A super cool feature is the ability to change your font style. Use the encrypt text command again, and this time we'll use the message beach day. In the prompt, let's go for Miami Beach. And just like before, we'll use dash W2 to weigh the text message more heavily. Let's also add dash motion for it at the end of the prompt to get more camera movement. Okay, not bad, but I don't think this font is good for the beach. Let's switch up the font. We'll go ahead and add our message and prompt again. But this time, click on the plus 2 button in the prompting interface. And then in the pop-up menu, select font. This will bring up a font selection menu. The default is modern, which is the font that we've been generating our videos with so far. Let's try the retro font style this time. There's currently five unique font styles to pick from and they all seem to work pretty well. Here's a Comic Sans font with a camera zooming out. We can add in more camera motions into the videos to get some more dynamic shots. Keep in mind that the smaller text may be harder to decipher depending on your font and prompt style. The words here are covered with leaves so the small text is kind of hard to read. One thing I discovered is that you do have some control over the texture that the words are generated with. Back to our fruit video, I asked for the word specifically to be generated using blueberries and it turned out pretty well. Here's another one with the words generated with cherries and our beach day spelled out using shells. Now encrypt text also comes with the ability to use reference images. Don't get excited though because I haven't found this to be very effective. This time in the prompt we'll go with the word explosion and prompt for an explosion. Click on the plus two more button once again, and this time select image. Now we can select a reference to use. I'll use this image of an explosion I generated using Midjourney. The generated video seems to take some inspiration from the color palette of the reference image, but ultimately doesn't seem to preserve that much structure from the reference we used. This is also true for other attempts I've made to use reference images. Some things to note, you can generate text of up to 20 characters. It'll require some trial and error to find the right combination of message and prompt style. It can also struggle with some words. I tried to generate a poster for a birthday party, but for whatever reason, it struggled to generate the word birthday correctly. Pika Labs also released a new command to encrypt images. You can attach an image to the prompt, add a video theme, and generate a video using the image design. Here's what I mean. 
First, I generated a couple of simple logos using Midjourney. Then in the Pika Labs Discord bot, type slash encrypt underscore image. In the interface that pops up, I'll upload this logo that looks like a water droplet. And in the prompt box, ask for a garden, overhead view, and we get our design nicely embedded into a garden. Similar to the encrypt text feature, we can use a dash W parameter to control the amount that the video generator weighs our image logo. This time, using the same reference image and prompt, use dash W2. And let's also add in dash camera rotate ACW to get an anti-clockwise rotation. And we get a much sharper landscaping design with our logo. You can encrypt your logo into many different mediums, such as the hood of our car or clouds in the sky. Here's a bird logo embedded into a landscape that turned out exceptionally well. When using reference images, try black and white designs to get the best results. I generated this black and white graphic design of Pikachu in Midjourney with a prompt Pikachu logo, black and white graphic design with raw mode on. Inside the PikaBot, I'll use a slash encrypt image command, then upload my black and white Pikachu logo. Then in the prompt, enter a beautiful rocky landscape, dash W2, dash camera, pan up right. And our Pikachu logo is successfully embedded into a rocky landscape. We can also try a variety of other themes. For the encrypt image feature, you can also attach a reference image for the video theme. Once you've uploaded a design and entered a prompt, click on the plus one more button and select image from the pop-up menu. This brings up a second image box from which you can upload a reference image for the video generation. Let's use this image of a landscape. So the first image is a design that you want to generate. And the second image is a reference for the video theme. Pika Labs will preserve the general color palette and structure from the reference image. For now though, I think the results you get without using the reference image are actually a little bit better and look more natural. One tip I have is to use a camera motions feature to get the best out of your encrypted words and images. Here I generated that same video with an eagle design without any camera motion and there's literally no movement at all. Now if you're feeling lost about the camera motions feature, don't worry. Go ahead and watch my tutorial on the camera motions feature update. Also, make sure to subscribe and I'll keep you updated on any of the latest news and updates.